Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Sunday, March the 8th, and it's 9.15, but really it's still 8.15 in my brain. <laughs> Don't you hate the springtime change? <laughs> you lose an hour. Anyway, let's get started. I woke up in the middle of the night talking out loud giving somebody instructions on something and I kept on talking and it didn't stop while I was awake so I knew it was from the Lord and I'm going to read it to you and you'll see why all right um the the very beginning sentence I think is must have been what I was dreaming about or talking to somebody about. <laughs> All right. Say you are told. Th these are instructions for us, believe it or not. I mean, it it's, it's plain to me. It's got to be. All right. Say you are told to take a stack of papers and tear them in half and throw them away. You may think, what's the point? I need to shred these or someone could tape them back together and read them. In reality, you are right, but he didn't say to do that. He said, tear them in half. We want to do, now by, by now I'm fully wide awake, okay, uh, through all but the first sentence, and that's what I remember dreaming, all right? My hair is getting longer, as you know, and now it's starting to get in my eyes. So I got to get these little short pieces longer. Okay, here we go. So he said, tear them in half. We want to do things our way. Make it harder on ourselves. But we need to do what we are told. Do what he says. And I put that in all caps, H-E. Do what he says. Keep it simple. His yoke is easy. His yoke is or his way is light. We are the ones who think we have to do more than that. We make things hard for ourselves. Now, you know this is in reference to the scripture, Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and learn of me, for I am meek and humble at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. I believe that's how it goes, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let's see where that is. Let me pull it up. Ugh. Getting the sniffles. No, it's not. It's allergies, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. My yoke is easy. We'll put that in. My yoke is. There we go. Matthew 11, 28-30. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So you'll find that in Matthew chapter 11. Okay. Um, I think the reason... Um, I probably got this was because I've been trying to instruct somebody on how um, 
to get rid of a demon, essentially. How to get it off your back or out of you, you know. And when they're just hanging around you, it's basically a matter of rebuking it. Let's see. James says... Let's see, and it will flee from you. Let me see this. And it will flee from, he will flee from you. Okay, this should be it. Yeah, James 4, 7. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. This is the King James Bible. Or, okay, hold on a minute. This is weird. James 4, 7. Let's do the Berean. But he gives us, this starts with verse 6, James 4, 6. But he gives us more grace. This is why it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And that means demon also. Because usually the devil's not the one right there opposing you. Because there's only one of him, and he can only be in one place at a time. So while uh, we're all being hassled, harassed, and whatever, attacked, you know it can only be a demon because the devil reserves himself for only the major problems and he sends his forces out, you know, like a, like the president, you know, gives the general in charge the power to tell the other generals and they tell their colonels and the colonels tell their top sergeants, and on down it goes. It's the same way with demons. All right, so submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil or the demons. Resist that demon, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. This is verse 8. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Okay, and it ends there because I'm in um, Bible Hub, what it pulls up off the internet. So anyway, that's a good area for you to study in. If you're having problems getting rid of a demon, that's one of the areas you could look up. Okay, so... Um, I also suggested to this person and so I'm suggesting it to you if you're having any areas of weakness and you're struggling your little butt off <laughs> excuse me Lord if I can't say that trying to stop something it might seem kind of minor but you know you need to quit it all right you um my suggestion is you go to type in Derek Prince self deliverance. They're long, like at least an hour, about an hour. But they're sermons. And during the sermon, he's telling the different kind of demons, how you'd know you'd have it. And, and then at the end, he goes through a prayer. To help you get rid of it through the video, because I did it. Uh, when I first got on YouTube and started, uh, I got on because I was getting messages from the Lord, and He had told me, and tell someone, or and tell people, something like that. So I thought, well, I'm not sure how to do that, but. I was watching YouTube, and I thought, well, I guess I'll start a YouTube channel. I mean, I had signed up. I was able to comment, so you have a channel. Even if you've never made a video, 
if you're on here, you log in so you can comment, you have a channel. Everything you like goes on your channel as liked videos. Okay, you probably all know that. So anyway, I started making videos. And, um... Oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. Why did I go back there? I started making videos. Honestly, I don't remember what I was talking about. That's terrible. You know, I'm tired. My brain is like still asleep. I took Buddy outside and we went down to the first floor to the cafe and I I hook him up to a chair so he can't leave that area. And I go in and see if there's something I can share with him. Well, we had waffles for breakfast, but he didn't get syrup. And I had cereal. And I just had one of them little containers like you give a kid. And I got some 2% milk. And I hope that's okay with, for dogs. If it's not, somebody tell me. But I let him have it. Not from the cereal. I drank all that because it had corn in it. He's he's allergic to corn. Or it bothers his stomach and he throws it up. So anyway, he got no cereal. I just let him have a little of that 2% milk to drink. Because he's not eating. He's not eating his dry food. So I had to feed him supper last night to get him to eat supper. I thought he had a bad tooth, but, and he might, he might have a bad tooth. But I gave him his little dental treat later, and he, you know, he took it and ate it. No problem. So, I, I don't know. Anyway, I hope what I did say helped you. <laughs> Forgive me for losing my train of thought, but I will plead the blood of Jesus over what I did say and I hope that it, that you got it that sometimes we try to make yeah okay I should say that we try to make things more complicated than they need to be alright sometimes you just need to rebuke the demons and tell them to go to the dry places and come back no more Plead the blood of Jesus over yourself, your household, your house, your property. Ask Jesus to put up a hedge of protection made up of warrior angels. And I always ask for the extra hedge of protection made up of the wall holy, of Holy Spirit fire. As high as I need it. And I ask for him to let it come together and then go into the ground as far as we need it because you want to cover all your plumbing and then come together underneath so that we're encapsulated by that wall of Holy Spirit fire from heaven. That's what I pray. That's what I ask for every night for all of you too. Now I don't know if he does it for everybody that I ask for but I ask anyway, I tell them, I don't know if everybody's getting these hedges of protection, but I'm going to pray for it anyway. It may depend on how people live. I don't know. And last of all, I ask for God to keep us covered under the shadow of his wings, as is promised in Psalm 91. I pray that for you, for all the saints and all my family. But if you're not living, if the, all the people I pray for are not dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, I don't think they will be covered under the shadow of His wings. But I don't know. I just pray it for them anyway. All right. With that, I'll end it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. So I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, over myself and my computer, over each and every single one of you. And all your devices, your internet connections, so we can stay connected until we're out of here. Maybe we'll be soon. I pray, I pray, I pray it is.
Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.